Hello and welcome to the latest update from the Met Office. The wind will be the key feature of the weather, I suspect, over the next few days. It's been a calm week so far and actually we've not seen much wind recently through the autumn and early winter. But the breeze is now picking up and over the weekend it will be one of the most important features. It's going to bring in showers or longer spells of rain and at the moment it's bringing in mild air from the Atlantic but later in the weekend, at times through next week, it will bring in colder conditions. Certainly a stark contrast across much of England and Wales compared to recent mornings. Instead of frost and fog, we've had breezy conditions. We've had outbreaks of rain, the main areas of rain moving away, giving way to showers and these big blobs, brightly coloured, they're fierce showers that are heading towards England and Wales from southern Scotland and Northern Ireland. And they're going to be quite lively downpours when they arrive. Gusty winds, perhaps a rumble of thunder, even some hail. So watch out for those. They will be hit and miss, but yeah, unpleasant if you're caught in one. Further north, more scattered showers pushing back in following the lively weather of earlier. And it's going to be breezy everywhere, but it's going to be mild as well. 13, 14 Celsius possible in the southeast with that mild breeze. The breeze turns a little colder in the north. These showers sweep through quite quickly further south. And then it quietens down a little overnight with uh, still large areas of cloud, still a breeze. So, of course, that means it's not going to be a particularly cold start to the weekend. Temperatures generally 7, 8, 9 Celsius as we begin Saturday. Now, there'll be still some cold air in the far north of Scotland with that wind coming down from the north. And uh, some sleet or snow showers are possible for, say, Shetland but elsewhere it's milder and most places start off the weekend dry. Even some breaks in the cloud developing for eastern and southern parts of Britain where it stays largely dry throughout the daytime on Saturday. Meanwhile, it turns increasingly damp for the hills of Wales, northern England, Scotland and Northern Ireland. And then more prolonged rain sets in for the north of Scotland by the end of Saturday afternoon. Still cold air there in Shetland, but the wintry showers easing away. Meanwhile, it's relatively mild elsewhere. But this system comes through on Saturday evening, first part of the night, quite quickly. Three to six hours of heavy rain and strong winds for most of us, but it is out of the way by the time many people are up, I suspect, on Sunday morning. It gives way to further blustery showers. Certainly a windy day to come on Sunday with those showers coming in thick and fast, initially northern and western Britain, but then increasingly across all parts, I suspect, it will be a day of dodging downpours. And we'll be pulling in colder air across the north of the country, so increasingly those showers will be falling as sleet and snow over the higher ground of northern England as well as Scotland. Temperatures staying up in the double figures further south. It's not going to feel particularly mild, though. Those temperatures down a degree or two compared to Fridays. And also with that wind, 50 mile per hour gusts in many places, especially around coasts and around those showers throughout much of Sunday. However, the wind's strengthening even further into Sunday night. A couple of lows to watch out for. This one initially bringing tight isobars into Northern Ireland, western parts of Wales, southwest England. Inland in these areas, 50 mile per hour gusts, but there's the risk of 60 to 70 mile per hour gusts, or even in some particularly exposed parts of the southwest, more than 70 mile per hour gusts on Sunday night. But there's also this low, and there's a lot more uncertainty about this low and how much it will deepen later Sunday and heading into Monday. It could also bring a squeeze in the isobars. It could also bring strengthening winds through the day on Monday and down the North Sea coast. And so 50 mile per hour gusts possible, perhaps 60 or more around some of the exposed coasts of the east. So yeah, the wind's a key feature over the next few days, but especially on Sunday night and into Monday. And we will keep you updated with all the very latest. You can follow those updates on social media, check any weather warnings on the website and on the app. Bye-bye.